Welcome back, sweet friends. Well, listen to this. Listening to a soulful, inspirational gospel song helps to jumpstart my day every single day. I just am jamming it, coming into the parking lot outside. Friends, we can all groove to some spiritual, yes. uplifting music at the yes. Gospel Fest this weekend in Saginaw. I am so thrilled to have the organizers right here with me, Vicki Hill and Pastor Elvin Owens joining me. How are you? Wonderful, blessed. Wonderful. I know you're very Definitely blessed. Definitely blessed. Yes. Tell me about this weekend. It's called Peace on the Island. Why that title? Okay, so Gospel Fest is actually going to take place on August the 5th. August 5th. August okay. 5th. So yes. save that date, friends. August 5th. August the 5th. Okay. Yes. And Peace on the Island, the reason we came up with that theme yes. this year. As you know, Saginaw had a mass shooting yeah. when they had a party going on. And mm -hmm. we just want people to be able to find healing. Yes. Okay. And so we developed Peace on the Island for mm -hmm. that day. Gospel Fest is in its 22nd year. Wow. And we've never, ever had any problem out there. But we want people to come out and enjoy yes. spiritual songs, yes. Christian songs, words from the Lord yes. that's through song. Yes. Because songs have a way of healing. Yes. Every yes. single day. Yes. Pastor, yes. why is this day of healing and deliverance? Why is this so important for us here? You know, because Saginaw needs it. Mm -hmm. You know, our community, um, uh, our young people, yeah. uh, with so many things going on, going on in the world, I just believe that the the Gospel Fest is going to be what we need for that day, and yeah. it's going to bless each and every one that's going to come out. And I was just rejoicing who you said is coming. Tell me who yes. is coming. Yes, John, John P. Key. How are you? Ray, you know <laughs> us. Yes. <laughs> All right, yes. Oh, that is going to be yes. so it's exciting. Be amazing. Absolutely amazing. And if you know the history of John P. Key, Ooh. he was yes. once a drug dealer. Yes, he was. Yes, he and was. He, his words are, I want to give back to the people that I've poisoned. Yes. You know, so, and within his ministry, he has been one that has been pulling yes. guns off the streets yes. from gang members. Yes, yes. Yeah. He yes. is so yes. powerful. And this is, it's more than just music. It's it a is. time for fellowship. It's it a is. time for inspiration. Yes. It is. And for us to come together as a community. Absolutely, and that's what we want. We want to bring all people together. Yes. Yes. We're, we don't want to separate anyone from no. anything, but no. everybody's welcome to come. And yes. the best thing about it is, it's absolutely it's free. free. It's free. It's I mean, you free. cannot. <laughs> yes, yes. You can't be free. Yes. You cannot be yes. free. Tell me, when is it? Where is it? And how can people? Uh, it is enjoy on this? August the fifth. Yes. Okay. It's always held at Ojibwe Island, which yes. is our beautiful park in yes. Saginaw, so right? The most beautiful park yes, we have, right? Yes. And it begins at. <laughs> 12 noon. Yeah. It's going to yeah. be an amazing event, and I'm super excited. Uh, just want to let the listeners know, yeah. come as you are. Come as you are. You don't have to worry about no dress no. code or no. anything like that. Mm -mm. It's going to be just free in the Lord. And we're just going to have a great time. We're going to have a great time. Yeah. Yeah. Besides the music, of mm -hmm. course, we've got vendors of all kinds. Yes. Oh, yes. So we've got merchandise vendor. Okay. We've got food vendors. We've got service organizations. Oh, wow. And the reason I bring out service organizations yeah. is because we need to know what's out there. Yes. The resources that's going yes. to better our lives. That's right. And if you don't know what's out there, you know, you just keep going about things the way that you've always done it. Right. And there are things to help people in whatever situation they are in. I love so that. that's the purpose of bringing out the service organization. Come out and be blessed by Absolutely. Don Vicky. I Come mean, out. if you have not heard this, I'm telling you, whew, you are just going to be changed, and it's going to be a, a start of a new, a fresh start. Yes. Absolutely, for you. absolutely. Your pastor. We're the city's church for one day. One day. I love that. Come Absolutely on one day. Thank you so much. We'll have more information about this on our website. Please yes. come out to this. We need to heal yes. as a community. Absolutely. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM 4 pm news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. news spotlight.